Welcome to Diet Talk with Dietitian Michelle, your food expert. Yes, so this is a diet program that helps you to eat healthy. Yes, 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 you're welcome. Where are my friends? Where are my friends from Joss? Where are my friends from Kaduna? My friends from Panshin? Lagos, Potakot, Abuja, where are you? Come in. Yes. Hello, where are my listeners? Diet Talk with Daisha Michelle. Come in, come in, let's start. Yes, let's demystify sugar. Who is in? I can't I can't see your name. Okay, so let's begin. Sorry, I'm trying to clean up some things popping up on my on my system. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Just drop your name and where you're joining me from. Hello. When you're in, drop your name and where you're joining from so that we can begin. Yes, yes, please just send your name where you're calling from, where you're joining me from. Michelle is used to radio program. So please, when you, when you come in, just drop your name and where you're joining me from, please. I would really love to see, yes, so that we can start. Yes, so welcome to Diet Talk with Dietitian Michelle. I am your food expert. And today on Diet Talk with Dietitian Michelle, we are going to be talking about honey 
and sugar. Yes, we're going to talk about honey and sugar. Is honey better than sugar? Or sugar is better than honey? Or are they even the same thing? What do you think? What have you heard? What's, what's your opinion? So tell me, we're going to demystify sugar. After today, you will know what you should know about sugar. And you will know if you should consider it the same as honey or not. Let's talk about sugar. So tell me, I want to see you just say something. Just drop your name and where you're calling from. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. I hope you can see me and you can hear me. All right. Sorry, 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 we'll soon start. All right, so you're welcome to Diet Talk with Daisha Michelle. Let's talk about sugar. Let's talk about the things you need to know about sugar first and foremost. I have here some samples. What is this? This is white sugar and this is what? Brown sugar. Then I have the, the granulated sugar and yes, the most popular one that has been causing us some form of confusion, which is what? Honey. This is honey. So let's talk about let's talk about sugar and honey. Is honey better than sugar? What do you think? A lot of people say I, I remember one client that I saw concerning diabetes management. And when I was explaining sugar and honey, she now shouted, Oh, so this is where my problem has been coming from. So this is the problem that I have been having. This is the problem I have been having they don't even quantify or measure the amount of honey they are taking so today let's talk about sugar and honey which one is better you're welcome to diet talk with dietitian michelle first i'll start by giving you seven facts that you need to know about sugar let's begin with that seven facts you need to know about sugar what are they number one is that sugar is made from where sugar cane is made from sugar cane sugar is made from sugar cane from sugar cane syrup yes that is where we get sugar from is made from sugar cane many people know that already the number two fact you need to know about sugar is that sugar is made up of what we call glucose and fructose yes glucose and what fructose that is what we have in sugar then when we take in sugar when we add sugar to our pap or puddings or tea or cereals or beverages whatever you add sugar to the end product in the body that it uses is what glucose that is the third fact about sugar right number one is that it is made from sugar cane number two is that it is made up of glucose and what fructose number three fact about sugar is that when it gets into the body it is converted to what glucose before the body can use it now number four is that when you take a cube of sugar it's going to give you 20 calories 20 calories so when you take four cubes what would that be 80 calories that 80 calories is equivalent to a slice of bread or even a cup of rice half cup of white rice or half cup of beans that is the equivalent so when you take four cubes of sugar you have taken a slice of bread or half cup of rice or half cup of beans or even a cup of pudding so that is the equivalent that's for you to understand four cubes so a cube will give you what 20 calories then 
for those who are trying to control their sugar level when you take a cube of sugar it will give you five grams of carbohydrates one cube of sugar will give you what five grams of carbohydrates that is what it's going to give to you five grams of what carbohydrates now if you take three cubes of sugar that is what 15 grams of carbohydrates when you take four cubes of sugar it is what 20 grams of carbohydrates when you take five cubes of sugar you have taken what 25 grams of carbohydrates so i have given you five facts about sugar plus the fact that it has 20 calories in one cube five grams of carbohydrates in one cube then sugar is considered empty calories sugar is considered what empty calories why because i just told you that it is made up of it is made up of what it's made up of glucose and fructose empty calories nothing else little or no vitamins or minerals no fiber no fiber nothing so because it has no other nutrients but this glucose and fructose as you're eating it as you're taking it to the body it has the capacity to shoot up the sugar level why because there is no fiber there is no delay in digestion so it's easily converted to glucose is with it is with so much ease that that happens the conversion to glucose with so much ease are you getting it so that is one thing you need to know about sugar we call it food experts call sugar empty calories we call it what empty calories so it gives you little or nothing then finally finally what do experts say about taking this sugar what do we say about it why should you take sugar should you take sugar and if yes how much should you take now if you are already used to not taking sugar please continue I don't want you to start to take sugar because of what Daisha Michelle says. So if you're used to enjoy, there are people who enjoy their pudding, there are people who enjoy their pap without sugar. I have my, my own child, my seven-year-old child, when you make cereals for her, she would say, please, mommy, don't add sugar to eat. Naturally, that is her lifestyle. She just does not like sugar. It's not what she fancies. So don't add sugar. She enjoys her cereals without sugar. So if that is you, I'm very happy for you. I am so, so happy for you. However, if you are a sweet tooth person like Michelle, I like sugar, even my client, my, even my, my staff, my friends, my colleagues, they all know that Michelle likes sugar. Before I started to read my course, Nutrition and Dietetics, in a cup of tea, I could put five cubes of sugar inside, five cubes. Of sugar inside yes but then when I started to do nutrition and dietetics and I knew what I was doing to myself apart from the fact that I add five cubes of sugar to my puddings or to my pack or to my tea when I go to eat food every meal goes with a bottle of drink regardless of what it contained I didn't know what I was doing to myself why because I like sweet things I like sweet things I like things to be very very sweet so if you are here and you are also the same you are like me you are like michelle you like sweet things then there's something called moderation there is something called what moderation you can be moderate you can be moderate in what you are taking even the sugar so what experts recommend is that you should take five chips of sugar maximum in a day yes don't shout some people will want to shout now they want to scream oh they want to scream and shout five cubes of sugar that i'm sure wait calm down you can take five cubes of sugar especially when you do not have diabetes you, you don't have any high any problem with your sugar your pancreas nothing is wrong with you scientists researchers health organizations say you can take up to five cubes of sugar in a day if you like to take sugar yes so for people who have diabetes it, it should be lower than that i recommend two to three cubes maximum so long as all other foods are within your carbohydrate requirements you can factor in two to three cubes of sugar 
Then for those who have a family history of cancer that scientists believe that sugar feeds cancer cells, we can say abstain from it completely. But all other things being equal, if you're not in any of these categories, you're healthy, you're active, you're agile, you're not overweight, you can do with five cubes of sugar. However, you need to also understand that it is not just the added sugar we are talking about. There is also something called hidden sugar. So when you are aiming to take five cubes of sugar in a day, you should also pay attention to what we call hidden sugar, hidden sugar in foods. For instance, when you take five cubes of sugar and you now grab a bottle of malt or a bottle of soft drink, if we calculate the sugar in these ones, it's going to get up to 15 cubes of sugar. So can you see? You may not be adding sugar to your food, but other things that you are eating can still be sources of sugar. And that will be the next topic. That will be the next thing that I will talk about, hidden sugar in foods and how you can find them. So for today, we are still talking about honey and sugar, which one is better. So I have given you seven facts about sugar, the white refined sugar that we all know. The question now is, what about honey? What about honey? Sorry, just a moment. What about honey? Where do we place honey? Let me now tell you something. These seven facts that I have given you about sugar is the same for honey. Did you get that? It is the same for honey. These seven facts I have given you about sugar is the same it applies to the honey we take except that honey is gotten from where bees yes except that honey is obtained from where bees are you getting that yes so honey and sugar are the same thing Honey and sugar are what? They are the same thing. There is nothing different from it. That is what scientists say. Honey and sugar, they are all the same. All right? Are you getting me? They are the same. What do you have to say? What do you think about that? Honey and sugar are the same, except that honey is made from bee. So honey made up of glucose and fructose? Yes, it is. Honey ends up as glucose in the body yes that is what it is then honey <laughs> a teaspoon of honey just like a teaspoon of sugar will give you 20 calories yes that is what it is and to even shock you honey gives more calories than sugar because it's heavier what you have as a teaspoon of sugar when you put honey as uh, inside the same teaspoon is heavier than sugar so it will give you slightly more than the 20 calories in a teaspoon of sugar then honey will give you five grams of carbohydrates in a teaspoon yes that is what it is just like the sugar honey is also considered empty calories yes my dear listener that is what it is yes and it is recommended that you take maximum of five teaspoons of honey every day just so for those of you who are used to pouring it from the from the gallon you don't even use teaspoon <laughs> you don't use teaspoon you don't use tablespoon you just pour it because it is honey you feel it is natural it's healthy it's, oh, but I shall, Michelle, it is natural yes i know it is natural so is sugar. Is sugar not made from sugar cane? And I tell people, did it fall down from the sky? It did not fall down from the sky. It is also natural. Sugar is natural. Honey is natural. Do you understand? And should still be taken in moderation. What matters most is what the end product. It ends as what? As glucose. So if you are talking about honey being nutritious, oh, it's an excellent source of this. It's a good source of antioxidant studies, researchers, they have found out that, yes, that may be true, but the amount that it exists is actually negligible. 
you can consider that negligible it's not really really important so the amount of honey that you are taking thinking that you're going to be getting vitamins and minerals is negligible if you want vitamins and minerals get that from your oranges from your bananas from your watermelon from your pineapples then when you want to sweeten your food with something sweeten it with honey no problem sweeten it with sugar sweeten it with brown sugar the quantity that we are specifying is what you should follow so if you like the taste of honey please go ahead and take it i'm not asking you to stop just do what quantity and if it's sugar you prefer to take please go ahead and take what would you what would you do quantify and if it is brown sugar you want to take some we say oh brown sugar is not possessed. the difference between brown sugar and white sugar is the fact that this does not get to the end stage of processing that is the only difference so it has what it has more molasses inside it does not get to the end product, but it is still made from sugarcane. It is still one cube to give you 20 calories, one cube to give you five grams of carbohydrate, still empty calories, little or no vitamins or minerals. So treat them the same. Treat them. If you want, I spoke with one of my clients that we are managing, and he said his sugar level is now controlled, well controlled. We we're able to tell him the problem, the problem, the amount of carbohydrate, especially from honey. He's one of those who pour honey into their pubs and puddings because they felt the calorie or the sugar in honey does not count. That is very wrong. That is what so wrong. The calorie counts. The calorie really, really counts. All right. Yes. So please, the calorie counts. What did I say about honey and sugar? They are the same. Treat them as the same. Some will say that, but honey is natural. Yes, I agree with you. Honey is natural. So is sugar. But the end product is still what glucose. The vitamins and minerals and antioxidants that you think are contained in honey is not so much. It's very, very negligible. Although, if you ask me to choose between honey, this is now my own perspective. I have told you what science says. I have told you what science is, what health experts say i have told you what food experts talk about how they regard honey and sugar but if you ask michelle from my own point of view what do you have to say about honey i'll tell you yes actually the level of processing of honey is not as much as that of refined sugar but honey also has its own downsides it has its own downsides it has its own disadvantages and what is that honey if it is adulterated is double problem some people now heat up sugar they heat it up as syrup then mix it with honey so we have many adulterated honey out there how can you tell the good one from the bad okay but no problem let's say that you buy from the farm and you are very sure about the honey you are taking there is also a likelihood of food poisoning from the microorganism clostridium botulinum which when it's really if it gets into the system for somebody who has a poor immune system if this gets into the system it can be a problem it can be a serious problem and that is even why honey is not recommended for babies below 12 months babies below one year just that fear of exposing them to what that microorganism but in, um yes Clostridium botulinum is a very deadly microorganism. So those are some of the downsides that you should also think about when you want to take honey. Is it well processed? Is it well processed so that you're not going to be exposing yourself? Then when you talk about sugar, it also has its own downside. Yes, it is too refined. Some people even say that it is bleached. That is why it is white. The, in the process of uh, the the whole process of refining it can be harmful. So everything has its own downside. Then even for the brown sugar that is said to be healthy, some people also believe that it is not well processed. So microorganisms to be easy for microorganisms to remain here than in the white sugar. So my point, my point generally is, if you want to sweeten your food, please sweeten it with sugar how much moderately not too much not too little don't add sorry not too much and if you want if you can do with too little very good good and fine so if you can do with one cube of sugar that is fine two cubes that is okay daily three cubes that is fine four cubes that is okay 
but not more than five chips every day that is when it can now start leading to harm it can now start uh, weakening your organs it can now even expose if for people who have diabetes it can increase their sugar level that is when it becomes a problem and when you are concerned about the sugar you take also pay attention to what we call hidden sugar that you will find in foods yet you will not know manufacturers have put sugar inside the food and you don't know so when you're counting the sugar that you are taking you should also count the sugar there you should count the sugar there all right so next sorry I, I, I remember i made a promise for those people who are going to be joining me the first five we get a gift so yes i have not forgotten i will still look out for you and i will contact you and still send you your gift all right so and still send you your gift you're welcome welcome to diet talk with dietitian michelle yes so next week i am going to talk about the hidden sugar in foods and how you can find it the hidden sugar in foods and how you can find it yes that is what i will really talk about next week okay somebody is asking me about saccharin mr Jeff Yen is asking me about saccharin. That is also something that I will talk about. It is not sugar. And how many tablets should one take in a day? It is called a non-nutritive sweetener. So let me tell you the line of events that will happen. Next week I will talk about next week I'll talk about hidden sugars and how you can find them. Then the week after that I will talk about other sweeteners, other natural sweeteners. Then I will also talk about okay zion is laughing <laughs> me too i just pour it into my pap till it's sweet okay <laughs> look at my people here yes then i will also talk about the non-nutritive sweeteners like the saccharin you are asking thank you very much yes yeah, somebody says i have always liked honey in the place of sugar well yes that is not a problem my own concern now is how much do you take don't be like zion who just pours until the pap becomes sweet <laughs> because it is honey so yes yes it just poured into your what's the best thing to use any of them is fine any of them any anyone you prefer to use it's okay just influencer is asking please is the calorie in honey the same with that of sugar yes it is in fact honey has more calories when you're going to compare uh, a cube of honey with a teaspoon of a cube of sugar with a teaspoon of honey honey actually has slightly more than sugar so that is why we should still treat them as the same they are all the same thank you Evelyn thank you Solomon a very cheerful Obika yes especially the soft drinks has hidden sugar yes i will talk about that so this is what we are going to do join you from platinum state solomon you're welcome i don't take sugar at all only honey you're still taking the same thing yes omore again you're taking sugar you're also taking honey because the end product is still what glucose how much you take really really matters so if you like to take sugar no problem that is fine yes theodora thank you very much for joining prefer sugar to honey no problem the quantity you are taking is what matters most hello evelyn you're welcome yes zion i'm glad you're here from federal locals thank you very much panshak apollos thank you i'll keep up the good work yes so agatha thank you you're welcome yana just yes joey you're welcome anna yes you're all welcome thank you very much so now we are clear about sugar i will still locate all those that i will locate all my friends those the first five that joined and i'll give you your gift then what you are going to do next week before next week is for you to snap a picture of any food product snap a product that you like and upload it on your own page then tag dietitian michelle then mention me in your caption and ask at dietitian michelle please help me find the hidden sugar or help me locate the hidden sugar in this food product then i will locate your post and that would be one of the things i will analyze next week yes so if you have questions you like to ask you can ask this is already 30 minutes and we are done with diet talk with dietitian michelle the first 
episode live program on Facebook, Daisha Michelle. Thank you very much for joining me. I feel really honored. I am very grateful. Thank you. So please, if you like to still ask me questions, you can ask me questions. Drop it under the flyer of this post and I will still respond. Then for next week, before next week, do you know how you can find sugar in hidden foods? Not just the soft drinks. We have hidden sugar in many things that you don't know. So when you are busy estimating the sugar, this one, you forget the ones inside those foods. So I will help you find the hidden sugar in those foods and we'll talk about it. So what you're going to do is snap the picture, tag me, then mention my name in the caption, Daisha Michelle, help me find the hidden sugar in this food product and we will talk about it next week. Yes, we'll talk about it next week. So quickly, let me just look at the, let me look at the new comments now. If you have a question, don't forget, you can still drop it and I will attend to it. Thank you for joining me today. The first episode of Diet Talk with Daisha Michelle live program. I hope I've answered some of the questions. The person that asked about saccharine, I said I will attend to that. That will be a topic on its own. Saccharine, aspartame, stevia, all these are topics that I will still attend to. Yes, all these are topics that I will still attend to next week. All right, so our time is really fast spent now. And I'll have to go. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Zion. I love you too, Evelyn. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please don't forget, let's make this more interesting. Invite your friends, tell someone about it. Then remember to find a food product that you like, snap a picture, post it on your own page, tag me and ask me to help you find the hidden sugar. Then I will use your post to teach next week. I will also bring some food products and shock you with foods that have sugar inside that you don't know have sugar. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm so pleased. I'm so honored. Thank you and do have a nice day. Yes. Bye-bye.